Welcome to the Evalesco Healthy, Wealthy and Happy podcast. The information provided on and made available through this video and podcast does not constitute as financial product advice. The information is of a general nature only and does not take into account your individual objectives, financial situation or needs. It should not be used, relied upon or treated as a substitute for specific professional advice. We recommend that you obtain your own independent professional advice before making any decisions in relation to your particular requirements or circumstances. Welcome to the Evalesco Healthy, Wealthy and Happy podcast. My name is Jeff Thurick and I'm really pleased to be your host. And so for today's first episode, I'm joined by my good mate and business partner, Marshall Brendel. Thanks for coming along to the first one, Marshall. Thanks for having me, Jeff. I'm not sure about a lot of choice, but thanks for having <laughs> me. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the Evalesco journey. Uh, starting with, you know, what is an Evalesco, a little bit about how we got to where we are now, where we're at, a bit about the vision for where we're going, but then also talk a little bit about what we're doing with the podcast, how it's come about and what we're trying to achieve. So to kick us off, what is an Evalesco? Well, an Evalesco, and you know, there's two parts to that. One is the journey. An Evalesco is a, a Latin word. It means to prevail, grow strong or have value. And, uh, you know, some of that goes back to when Jeff and I first met now. We've been uh, mates, business partners, and fellow employees for a few decades now. And um, Evalesco really sort of kicked off formally as a partnership in 2008. But Jeff and I had already been working together for, I think, give or take 10 years yep. at that point. Um, so we first met working at a company called Norwich Union back in the day. And our role was very similar, and that was to to support financial advisors that were helping clients. And uh, I think both of us did that for a period of time before we realised that actually we'd like to do that ourselves. Now, uh, we'll credit to you, you jumped out first uh, and I joined a few years later. Um, you know, we shared shared office space together for a number of years and I was sort of spitballing and throwing around different ideas for a business and back in the day the uh, the... I guess what was in vogue was to use a Latin word to convey a meaning. And I remember, even though Jeff and I weren't, we weren't formally business partners at that stage, we went through, I think, about 100 different business names and we just crossed them off one by one until we landed on Evalesco. And from that point, I think I was pushing and probing for a couple of years before you uh, fortunately joined me in 2008, yeah. just as we were going over the the GFC cliff. Yeah, it was interesting times. I had a, I had a one-year-old child and a wife who wasn't working and hit the GFC as well. But uh, Leah was very supportive and, you know, between the two of you kind of getting up on me and uh, we made it happen. It's been, uh, it's been a fun journey. It has. It yeah. has. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, you know, we're sitting here today in these nice, fresh, Evalesco, healthy, wealthy, happy polo shirts and... You know, you go back to when we first met, we're a couple of young blokes, fresh out of uni, nice suits, ties, very focused on um, that first impression as you walk in the door, wearing a suit, and, you know, how we've evolved over the years, you know, sort of 10 years wearing suits and ties, probably 10 years without, and we're now at the point where I think that we're really confident around our approach, our values, our delivery that we can walk into a room wearing a polo shirt, feeling re- really good about ourselves and knowing what we can do to support our clients and you don't necessarily need the time suit to do that. Yeah. So we've still got the ties in the cupboard and we've still got some out there, I think, haven't we? That have been with us. We do. We haven't, do. haven't been used for a long time, which is which is quite good for my big one. Yeah, true. And, uh, you, know, I, you know, if I were to think back to, you know, the, the phrasing around Evalesco, and I'll push it back to you, uh, you know, what does healthy, wealthy and happy mean to you? Because that's been a big part of our journey, particularly the last what, seven to ten years, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, it has been an important part, as you said, of us developing our proposition and what we want to do. And we started out um, very traditionally helping clients with super and insurance was a big part of what we did in the early days. And a lot of clients were in a similar position to ourselves at the time. So, you know, as I said, I just started a family and... Um, we were growing to that and a lot of our clients were going through similar things. And it was really great to be able to share some of those experiences with it. And we built some really great relationships talking about what people were facing in their real lives as well as their, the financial aspects of it. 
And I think we both kind of felt that we were getting to understand a lot about our clients, but not necessarily being in a position to do a lot with that information because we collect a lot of information about people when they come to see us. Um, for those of you who are clients, you'll know that we ask a lot of questions. Um, so it was understanding, you know, what are the goals and aspirations, what keeps people awake at night, who are the important people in their life. And then we would be helping them with some insurance, which relates to that very strongly. We would be helping them with, you know, buying a home or paying down some of the debt, but there just seemed to be so much more and so much more important that goes alongside the wealth conversation. So we really wanted to open that up. And I think by talking about health, wealth and happiness and positioning that, it made it a little bit of an easier conversation because I think some of the first times we started asking some of those questions of clients that are a little bit, you know, why are you asking me about this? We just want to talk about our super or our investments. So, uh, and that's been an evolving proposition over time to bring that more into it. But it's really about, you know, what's the point of being really wealthy if you're really unhealthy or really unhappy? Seems pretty pointless to me. Spot on, and I, I see that journey. You know, Jeff sort of touched, you touched on that when we first started out, we were speaking with and supporting typically younger families, either individuals or families, and and I think our client base has grown and evolved as we have. You know, you've just celebrated fiftieth. I'm not far off that. Yeah. And you know, if I consider the types of clients that you and I support now, it's quite different to fifteen years ago. You know, I think. Each of us, at least two thirds of our client base, would be retired or approaching retirement. And the healthy, wealthy, happy piece, from my viewpoint, has evolved to the standard or the level where we're able to support families across the generations. With you know, Jeff and I might be taking leave, for example, you know, with the, the retiree clients. We've got, I've got other specialists within our business that can ensure that those retirees are able to retire confidently knowing that their, their broader family is being supported as well and yeah. that created is going to be uh, maintained and uh, not unnecessarily eroded through poor decisions. Yeah, that's right. And with the evolution of the team, it's been about we still help those clients who are like us, you know, young families starting out, you know, Sydney's an expensive place to live, paying down debt, managing cash flow. We've still got advisors in the team who specialise in that. And that's been an important part of what we wanted to build, isn't it? You know, we got into this to help as many people as we can. There's only so many we can help as individuals, but as a team, we can help so many more. And as you said, you know, support families as they go through those different generations as well. Um, touch on the healthy, wealthy, and happy. One of the things we want to build into the podcast and make a consistent part of it is to ask for me to ask each of our guests, you know, what is it that makes you health feel healthy and happy and what is it you'd like to do because a lot of the content we're going to talk about will be on the I guess the wealthy piece of it mm-hmm. a bit more about the finance which is our area of expertise but uh, to kick it off much what, what makes you healthy and happy tough question not really prepped for this but I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll roll with it um, the healthy and happy piece you know there's I guess there's a few different layers to that so um, you know from a, a workplace viewpoint you know I feel confident and happy knowing that our team are delivering really good consistent outcomes and that my role is able to uh, ensure that that's done efficiently with less mistakes that probably rolls in some of the wealthy piece as well um, but then on the on the flip side of it, thinking about it at a, at a personal level you know I definitely want to see the, the growth and you know the development of my kids you know really uh, good harmony within the household which isn't always possible <laughs> But you know, I want to be able to make sure that I'm passing on the values, all the things that I've learned from um, you know those that are nearest and dearest to me, to make sure that my kids have the same values and potentially um, grow from where they are and where I am. Um, and from a you know a happy point of view, I think as I get older, it's really important to make sure that you do take a little bit of time out of the workplace as well. So you know, I love coming to work. But equally, I love taking a few weeks off for a little bit more to go skiing or just to you know, uh, smell the clean air of the ski fields mm-hmm. and quiet. That's good answer. You did well for being put on the spot. <laughs> That's good. Um, so we've talked about the journey and where we sort of started, um, you know, looking at the team now. The team's grown slowly but surely, well, maybe not slowly, but steadily mm-hmm. over the, the period of time since we kicked off uh, together in 2008. Um, so we've now got about 27 people in the team overall, uh, which is fantastic. And as I said, it allows us to sort of spread the wings and provide advice across a number of different areas with those specialists. And a big part of what we want to 
often do with the podcast is to get some more of those team members because the clients at home you probably have seen a fair bit of me on webinars or videos, a fair bit of Marshall on webinars and videos, but to get you to meet some of the other team members mm-hmm. as well who have their specialities is an important part of what we're looking to do. It's also an important part of their career and their journey because by participating in the podcast here, it allows them to, I guess, uh, step outside their comfort zones, helps them articulate their voice, share their messaging, what's important to them, mm-hmm. and in turn, you know, be able to, you know, continue to foster and create their own personal identity and professional brand. Absolutely. So in doing that, we'll be hoping to pass on really relevant, valuable content as well. That's an important part of what the podcast will be. So this is the first episode, maybe, you know, a couple of old blokes rambling a little bit, but going forward, we'll be a little bit more uh, punchy with some good content, but also hopefully a little bit of fun, get to know some of the other team members. Um, We'll get through some really topical stuff as well. So when things are changing in markets, and as part of us taking on board some of the feedback from our clients as well in terms of how they would like to be communicated, what's important information. So, um, you know, if there's important changes from an economic viewpoint or an investment viewpoint, that's where Marshall's got some expertise. He'll certainly be back to talk more about that. Um, we've got some areas coming up where we'll be talking to some of the team around um, lending, what the financial planning process looks like, uh, investments, insurance, all those types of things. So um, I'd love for you to stay tuned uh, to the channel. Um, come back and see what the next episodes have in store, uh, provide feedback to us because we want to make sure we're providing content which is helpful um, and you've got any ideas for how we can make it a little bit more fun or a little bit more engaging, then uh, let us know that we'll be doing our best in that regard as well. Anything else to add for wrapping up the first episode of the new podcast, Marsh? I'm excited. It, uh, initially, the, the framing was that it was going to be a podcast, but, you know, Jeff and I have got a... I guess a face for radio, so I'm hoping that it presents well. And you know, I really look forward to seeing the other team members get engaged, invest in the process, and share all of their key learnings and experiences with the broader community and our clients. Perfect. Thank you for listening and, and watching the first episode. I uh, look forward to seeing you on future episodes and have a healthy, wealthy, happy day. Thanks for tuning in to the Evalesco Healthy, Wealthy and Happy podcast. If you'd like to learn more about anything you've heard in this episode, please give us a call on 02 9232 or email admin at evalesco.com.au. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Evalesco podcast episodes and stay up to date by following us on Instagram and Facebook.